Debate years in the making on Seabrook Island is finally close to a resolution on whether to cap the number of short term rentals or not. Ann Harris attended today's final public hearing before ordinance go to a vote. She recaps what the current proposal is and how it could impact your area, depending on where you live. To cap? If the mayor's proposals are adopted, which contradict everything he pledged to do, Seabrook will turn into a soulless community made up of transient housing and occupants coming and going. Or not to cap. Putting a cap on rental properties on Seabrook is the worst idea that anybody on Seabrook has proposed. It's been an issue plaguing Seabrook Islanders for years. What to do with short term rentals and after many months of STR committee meetings and at least 600 public comments, members of the community had their final chance today to tell town council what they think. I think mostly uh, there's an effect on our community's quality of life. I wouldn't be here if I didn't get to rent for 20 years. Right now, no SDR cap exists on the island, but the proposed ordinance would create two separate caps. In the proposed overlay district, which includes condos, single family homes closest to the beach and more, the cap would be set at 540 STRs. In all other residential areas, which are exclusively single family areas, the cap would be 105. Overall, about 25% of the island would be made up of short term rentals. This is where most of the problems with SDRs exist. So if anyone deserves relief from the negative impact of commercial rental activity, it is the full time residents in these areas. The town is also considering changing the rates for SDR permits and establishing regulations on trash, illegal dumping, parking and more. I hope that um, the divisiveness on this island ends because we are this is our slice of heaven. I don't care what anybody says about quality of life. You try to find a better place to live than Seabrook Island. The town expects the first reading to take place on October 28th with the final reading in November. I don't think anybody's going to get 100% uh, of what they ask for, um, but I think that there's opportunities for people to see benefits in the final product that comes out of this process. On Seabrook Island, Anna Harris, Live 5 News.